Welcome, parents. I feel like I'm in a Mission Impossible episode. I've got five minutes to give you a presentation that it took me 40 minutes to give the kids. So here we go. So my name's Scott Hirsch. I teach math here at De La Salle. I'm also a water polo coach and a swim coach. Been here 31 years, got a degree at Santa Barbara. And my preferred contact is, as you can see, hirschs at dlshs.org. I uh, usually get back within 24 hours. You can try to call, but we end up usually playing phone tag. So I think the best way is probably gonna be email. So in Algebra 2 Trig, we, we do the following. In our first semester, it's probably 80% review and 20% new. Whereas the second semester, it's 90% new, 10% review, and that 90% new is, is difficult. Um, this is the one class that the kids need to go to a four-year university. It involves a lot of critical thinking, a lot of abstract concepts, um, and it will challenge a lot of the kids. Uh, first day of class, we went over uh, basically two Algebra One concepts, and uh, several of the kids had troubles. I think um, some of it could be foundational, some of it could be it's been a couple of years since they've actually done Algebra for Algebra purposes. Um, but know that if, if the kids say, wow, this is going to be tough, uh, they're in good company. You know, not everybody in the class has a great handle on all this. And, and like I said, 80% of this first semester is going to be reviewed. So we'll be doing a lot of that throughout. In general, like I mentioned earlier, critical thinking is a big part of this class. I want them to use their resources. I give homework every night. There are solutions posted. The kids should use those to check things out. Certainly they can copy, but that's gonna come to haunt them when it comes to assessment time. And, and what I really hope that they can do eventually is use those resources to become independent learners and, and not have to rely on their friends, you, tutors, me so much. Um, because once they get to college, it's gonna be a real valuable skill. I have kind of a motto I go by and I put it at the end of every one of their homework assignments. Uh, and you can see that on the bottom of the slide says do more, no more, uh, perfect practice makes perfect, and you don't know it till you do it, and you is, is highlighted in bold. All these things are really important because the do more, no more is you gotta practice math. You can't just watch people do it. It's very, very important to be tactile with it and get in there and show some persistence in problem solving. You may not get it the first time, but, but the more you practice it, the better you're gonna get, and that leads into the perfect, perfect practice makes perfect. Um, and finally, when it comes to assessment time, I can help them, you know, all they want, not a problem. That's, that's my role. But when it comes to assessment time, unless they've done it start to finish by themselves, they really don't know it. So that, that's why I always put, you really don't know it till you do it. Somebody can explain it to you. You can think you've got it, but until you've done it, start to finish by yourself, you're not really prepared for what's about to come on an assessment. As far as the distance learning and hybrid classes, we've been instructed by the administration not to actually lecture during those periods of time. We are there to review theory, go over homework, and, and try to answer as many conceptual problems that the kids have during those periods of time. And that's typically what we do on a daily basis. Um, after we do that in class, and that can take anywhere, usually from, I'd say 20 minutes to 45 to an hour, um, I release the class, they're free to go if they want, and then anybody who wants to can stick around. As far as on flex days, because we're in distance learning situation, um, when we're in class, like I said, they can stay after and ask for some extra help. Flex days are like my tutorial days. Uh, for this class, they can come into a Zoom meeting at 1010 to 1050. Um, I do some individual things. Um, if they email me, I can see them for about 15 minutes um, at the scheduled times below. But uh, those are gonna be limited. I've got 140 students and, and basically a half an hour on Wednesdays to meet individually. And those are more, not tutorial sessions, but more, hey Hirsch, I'm really struggling with these kind of concepts and what do I need to do, so on and so forth. So they're kind of like troubleshooting, what can you do better in order to attack the class kind of meetings. As far as Schoology, everything they need and you need will be there. Um, the thing I would recommend that you do is click on the course guide and read through that thoroughly. It's got all the information about percentages of grades, so on and so forth. When the assignments are due over here, when the assignments are on a sign, it's going to be right over here. I give the kids worksheets. They're in this little folder here. Um, as far as solutions to the book, I mentioned that before. Every solution to the book is within this 
section right here. I do have worksheets that only have answers on them. So in order to combat, you know, copying or not them doing the work, um, I, I put just those answers there. And I'll, but I post a discussion document on every single homework assignment that the kids can upload the problem they're having troubles with. And somebody in the class can either share with them how to do it verbally or, or written, if you will, or they can actually post the work below it and help the kids out that way. So Zoom meetings, we have them daily for this particular class. I believe it's second period. So again, that's gonna be Monday and Thursday. Every Monday and Thursday, we'll have a meeting. Those flex days are optional. Homework's gonna be assigned every night and they're gonna have assessments weekly every Thursday. And that's why we're in distance learning. Uh, once we go to hybrid, the class will be split. So I'll have to adapt that, but that'll change when that time comes. So I think my five minutes is about up. Um, I'm sure there's lots more you wanna know. Again, I would read the course information and that will give you lots more. And if you still have questions, shoot me an email. Thanks.